Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to record on CSGO in full HD footage, so 1080p, no matter what PC you're using, you can be using a piece of shit. Although bear in mind, it may take you longer if your PC is a potato or a cabbage. Um, I'm currently running a 6700K i7. 4.0 gigahertz with 16 gig of RAM and a 1070 and it still takes a while for me So you've got to be fucking patient guys with this process is annoying as fuck, but you have to be All you're going to do is you're going to go to this website here, which is going to be in the description hla.com And you're also going to go to the download page and download it here Download Fucking fail. Alright, anyway, click that. Click that and download it. Okay. Then you're going to go to Virtual Dub here and click the download button there, which will take you to, I think it's Source for Source Forge? Sausage? Yeah, it'll take you to Source Forge when you click that as well. Download Virtual Dub. Once you've got both downloaded, you need to open HLA. You've got to install it, obviously, as well. Open HLA, okay, and you're going to click Launch CSGO. And then you're going to browse where your game path is and click Open CSGO EXE. Make sure this is checked, otherwise, you may get banned for hacking, okay? So make sure that's checked. What that does is it sets your game to LAN mode, so it's offline. And then you're going to click Play. And it's going to load your game up for you. Slowly but fucking surely. Any time now. There we go. Okay. So your console is gonna be gonna be popped up as well. You can close that for now. Now you'll see this little warning that basically says that Valve basically don't go on online servers while HLA is open. Cause you will get fucked by the long dick of VAC, so don't do that. You will get banned. Okay, so you can use your watch demos that are downloaded already, or you can use other people's demos, which, you know, I've got another video on downloading demos and using them, so you, you can look for that if you want that. Um, just load up your demo. Any fucking time now. Okay. Wait for us to load in. Alright, now you're in the demo, guys. You're going to press Shift and F2. So bring up this little demo UI here. Oh, just fired. And then you're going to uh, obviously pause. You need to pause the fucking game. And I need to find the round now that the frag's on. And I know it's on round 26. Uh, 27? 27? So I'm just going to skip rounds with this little button here. Skippy, skippy, skippy. Okay, so we're nearly there. I'm just counting like a retard. Um... Maths wasn't my strong point at school. I'm a fucking moron when it comes to mathematics, I'm not going to lie. I basically have the uh, ability of a man with no eyes. Or ears. So, yeah. Anyway. So, we'll skip this part and get to the uh, get to the next part. Okay, so another handy little tip, guys. If you, you can actually bind the space bar to, uh, to pause the demo. So, I forgot about this. So I'll put this in the description as well, so you can just copy and paste this. I mean, I will make, at some point, I will make a, a movie config for you guys. But at the moment, I, I like typing things in. You know, I know it's working. Because I just like doing it manually, guys. It's just, it's just something I enjoy. Okay, so now it's SV underscore cheats space one and FOV underscore CS underscore debug space 100, which gives you a better field of view. Okay, you don't really need to fuck around the view model, this is just me being really, really fucking. Yeah, just, you don't need to touch this. I mean, you can do this, I'll put the, I'll put the console commands in the, in the description so you can fuck around with that as well. The other good console command is merv underscore cvar underscore unhide underscore all. That is a HLA command and it unlocks a lot of hidden console commands that you're not really supposed to be able to use. Which is always fucking awesome. Um, 
Then you're just going to pop these in. There's Matt Vignet enable zero. Matt underscore uh, disable bloom. Stable underscore bloom space one. Okay, there's those. There's Matt underscore post processor underscore enable space zero. These all just make the game look a lot better. As I said, guys, these are all in the description. You can copy and paste them into your game. If it makes it easier, run your game in window mode as well. Another command you need to do is host underscore timescale space zero. Okay. Then after that, you need to do mev underscore SND underscore timescale space one. This this basically stops your sound from glitching when you when you run it in slow mo. Next command is mev underscore death message space debug space one. This allows you to see the kill IDs of the people your player shoots and the people that shoot him. And you need those to basically highlight the fucking kill feed. And make the kill feed stay on the screen. Okay, so you put that in and you keep your console open. And when he gets to the he kills him, you pause the demo like this. And you'll see right here the number. This is his ID. So you're going to use this to make his kill feed stay on the screen. So I'm going to bring the commands up now that you need to use. These commands basically block all the other player messages. That's the top one. So it blocks all the other kill feed from other players. And the other one highlights around it. So it's like it's a player view demo instead of a good TV demo. Alright, so that's that. And then what we're going to do after we've done those is we're going to um, get the demo UI up. And we're going to go back to the start of the round. So just press back on the round once. And uh, the reason we're doing this is because you you now need to put in one more command which makes the kill feed stay on the screen longer. Okay, so obviously the first command here hides your hood apart from the kill feed. And the second command, that makes the kill feed stay on the screen longer. So I'm putting 60 because that, that obviously that lasts forever and it's probably your best option. Now for this next bit, it's best to pause your demo at the point that you want to start recording. And then type in these two commands. Okay. Once you've got those in and you're recording, your demo is going to slow down drastically. It's going to go into like pretty much freeze frame. And it'll, you'll see it moving in stages. Kind of like stop motion animation. You know, like I'll show you now. Okay, so 3, 2, 1. And then uh, close your console. And there you go. Your sound turns into 8. So I'm going to turn this off real quick. Okay, so now as you can see, it's going ridiculously fucking slow, because basically what it's doing is taking multiple HD photos, which we're then going to render into a video file. Okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna pause this now, and I'm going to speed it the fuck up, so, because otherwise we'll be here for like probably 20 minutes while it records. Okay, so I'm just going to speed it up real quick. Pause the demo when you've finished recording, and open the console and type end movie, no spaces. And then open the demo UI with Shift and F2 and go back around. Okay, so that's the recording part done. Fucking Windows 10, you piece of cancer. Alright, so now, fucking iTunes, what the fuck? Okay, so that's that done. Now open Virtual Dub, which you installed earlier. From SourceForge or Sausage. Go to Video. No, in fact, no, actually, ignore that part. Just yeah, forget that part a second. Go to your CSGO folder. In Steam. So it'll be uh, probably in your C drive or wherever. Steam. Steam Apps. Common. Counter-Strike Global Offensive. CSGO. Uh, and scroll down down and you'll find well you can see there Nebby because I named my movie Nebby and they're all .tgs select the first one drag it into virtual dub and then you'll see this is basically a timeline of all the photos rendered together into a video pretty sick and go to video frame rate and set it to whatever you set your host time scale to. So 300. File. Save as AVI. 
Um, save it wherever you want to save it. This isn't my community. Don't worry, guys. I have more community highlight stuff than that. It's just... <laughs> this is just an old folder. Okay, so save it. Turn these off because it slows it down rendering. And we're going to skip forward because this does take a long fucking time. Like, you're going to be waiting a while. Believe me. Okay, so it should have rendered now. Um, if you go to wherever you saved the file, it should be there. Notice that your hard drive does get full pretty quickly. I think this file size is... Well, I think it's like over 100 gig. Well over 100 gig. Probably like 500 gig because it's like a... Hmm... Like a full round, like two, three minutes. Yeah, it's, it's a big file size. I don't compress it, so that's probably why it's so big. You can compress it in virtual dub. Um, but you can find the options in there. That's not that's not too difficult. So you can see the quality is fucking beautiful. A little bit of motion blur there as well at the sides. Which is also sexy. Um, the smooths, guys. I'm going to do a separate tutorial for that. Because right now I don't really have a lot of time. Oh yeah, and while I'm still here as well. The sound file can be found underneath the TGAs in your CSGO folder. Okay, so you need to find that and drag that into the folder where you save the video file so they're both together. Drag that into Vegas and just put it underneath the video and, you, and you're pretty much good to go then. And you, you, you're set to edit. So, yeah, as you can see, it's... Yeah. Well, I, I think that's it. I mean, yeah, as I said, I'm going to do a tutorial on the smooths another time. Because I'm running out of time at the moment. Um, because I do most of this at work. So. Yeah. Because my gaming PC is at work at the moment. So. Um, anyway guys. Thanks for watching. Um, if you want me to do a tutorial on the smooths. Give the video a bit of a cheeky thumbs up. If you want me to do an editing tutorial. Do another cheeky thumbs up. Maybe leave a comment. Whatever the fuck you want to do.